Hey my friends, uh, in the previous video we had looked at solving part A where we drew the diagram and part B where we found the number of tacks, thumb tacks and the number of sticks. So let's move on to part C now, uh, this table and please note the table is, is relating to the thumb tacks in part C, okay? Alright, good. Let's just pull this up a bit so that we can have a little bit more space to work with now. Okay, that seems to be pretty fine. Now, here in part C, they're asking us to complete the table by inserting the missing values at the rows marked 1 and 2. And here on the side here, you will see the rows there. That's row 1 and that is row 2. Now, in part D, they're asking us to write the rule. And another word for rule is formula. They're asking us to write the formula in terms of S and T to show how T is related to S. And if you notice here in the first column, number of sticks, that's S. And here is the rule, rule that is connecting T and S and the number of stick, of thumbtacks rather, T, which is on my right in this red column here. Now, let's let's just get into this quickly. All right, um, let, me sh uh, let me share something with you. In a situation like this, the first thing you would want to find, really, before you start to fill in the values, okay, I would recommend that you find the rule first, okay? Once you know the rule, then it's easy to fill in the values, okay? But, I mean, if you don't know the rule and trying to guess, it will take you a long time. So, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to find the rule first. I'm going to answer this part of the question first, because answering this part, it will make it easy to fill in the table. So, quickly, let's get into it. All right, um, I'm going to analyze um, the first three that they gave to us. Okay, so remember, we should always analyze the series or the sequence. All right, now we have a four here, sticks. We have a four sticks in this column. And if you notice, we have one plus um, open bracket three quarters times four. We had a four here. Okay, so remember now. And that when we work out this, that would be equal to four thumbtacks. Okay, now if you notice in this in the third row, or in, this, in the third row here in my number of sticks um, column, I have an 8 here under the 4. And when I go over here, I have 1 plus 3 quarters again times 8. Remember, we had an 8 there and we have an 8 here now. Remember, we had a 4 there and we have a 4 there now. Okay? And those are important pointers to note. Here we have a 12 here and again we have a 1 plus 3 quarter. 1 plus... Um, 3 quarter times 12 and if you notice the sequence any number that is inside the sticks column if you notice it is being repeated in that order in the in the rule right here okay times a constant 3 quarter and we're adding 1 okay so that's a general rule so right away we should pick up the rule that uh, the rule is and remember now s is the sticks that we're dealing with remember now this s here represents the sticks so I can say one plus three quarter sticks given that um, the three quarter is always multiplying the the number of sticks then I can say my rule my rule must be this is my rule I'm working out so I can say then that T which is a number of thumb tax must be equal to one plus 3 over 4 times times or multiplied by s which is the number of sticks so there we have our rule that will connect okay that will connect and this would be part d i have answered right here okay now let's look at it how easy it is now to fill out this table so let's just pull it up a bit so we can have a little bit more space to work with all right now quickly um they want us to find um the rule here connecting uh in 452 here in the second to last row um we're we're asked to find the rule there so right away um by intuition for part one okay we would know that this okay i can just write it in there so let me just let me just bring that up quickly so i could say then this is one one plus open bracket three over four and i'm multiplying that by 52 okay and then i'm going to close my bracket now when i calculate this over here i would one let me just work that out one plus open bracket three over four times 52 close bracket okay and this would implies that i have a one plus four into itself 
goes once and 4 into 52 goes 13 times. 13 times 3 will give me 39. So I have 39 there and I know that 1 plus 39 would give me 40. Okay, so that would be my answer. So let me just quickly change my color again. And our answer for here, I would have a 40 over here. Okay, so this would be 40 for my answer. Now here um, in the second one, they want us to calculate um, the number of sticks. So the, the, the number of sticks and we're supposed to write the rule. Okay, so here now, since I know the general form, which is which is that I can then say t is equal to and I know that t must be always equal to 1 plus the open bracket 3 over 4 okay times s all right okay times my s okay so that's my rule however now they gave me t the number of thumbtacks and they said that was 55 so let's substitute so 55 must be equal to 1 plus my 3 over 4 and that is being multiplied by s let's just pull this up a bit and transpose and solve for s okay so let's just leave that right there so here now if you notice what is happening okay guys is that is that one is being added so um, first I'm going to carry over my one okay so when I carry over my one since one was being added it's gonna be subtract one and that's gonna be left with me I'm gonna be left with 3 over 4 is multiplying s okay so I know that 55 minus 1 will leave me with a 54 okay and that 54 must be equal to 3 over 4 times my s okay now 3 over 4 is multiplying s so i need to divide both sides by 3 over 4 okay so i'm dividing through by 3 over 4 okay what i do to one side i must do to the next side okay so that's just some simply substitution and um transposition rather all right so i know this 3 over 4 will cancel out with that 3 over 4 so therefore therefore let's just pull this up a bit or let's just take it up on the side here okay so I can say therefore therefore and if you, if you are not seeing this I could work it another way for you um, just to help you out if you are not seeing what I'm doing there um, let me pick it up from here when I said 55 minus 1 I was left with a 54 okay and that 54 is equal to 3 over 4 of s okay and I could say s there so if you notice this 3 over 4 is multiplying the s so what I'm gonna be doing I'm going to be dividing through by 3 over 4 okay so what I do to this side I must also do it to to that side so I must divide this side by 3 over 4 okay um, by intuition when dividing fractions we multiply by the reciprocal so 54 would be multiplying now you change the division sign to multiplication and you're saying flip the one at the back so 4 over 3 and that is equal to uh, once I'm dividing here obviously then if this is multiplying and I'm dividing by that then these two are going to cancel out automatically okay so my s would be equal to that so I can say 3 into itself goes once 3 into 54 my friends 3 into 54, uh, let me check my, so 3 into 54 would go uh, 18 times, okay guys, yeah, it's late in the night now, so I'm getting a bit tired, <laughs> and um, we're saying now 18 times 4, uh, therefore 18 times 4 will give us a 72, alright, so my answer is equal to s is 72 so um let's just pull this down a bit let's just pull this down a bit so that we can have some more space here now looking at the answer um so s is 72 remember this column represented our s so what i'm gonna do i'm just going to fill in my s so i would have 72 here okay by calculation well we already know the rule the rule is um always one is being added open bracket 3 upon 4 okay and that is multiplying whatever s is so I'm going to bring my 72 here okay and it's that easy and if you should calculate the rule here that we have this this part here this column if you should calculate that that would give you back your your answer over here which is our 55 
Okay, my friends. So that's it. It's 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 pretty much that easy. Um, however, if you have a comment or if you have a question, if you're still not sure on something, you could always um, drop us um, a note and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Now, before I go, please be reminded that um, part D, I would have already solved for the rule because it's the rule we had. Found. The first thing we found was the rule here, part D. So this would be the answer for part D, just to re-emphasize re that point. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.